What's going on everybody? My name is Blaze and Nico and we are back with yet another video. Today we have a shoe review of a shoe that we have seen on people's feet that we didn't think we were going to actually get a release of. You know, we thought they were player exclusives, but without further ado, we have the Nike Kobe Pro Tro 6 Reverse Grinch. The Kobe 6 Pro Tro Reverse Grinch actually releases on Friday, December 15th of 2023 for a retail price of $190. The Kobe 6 Pro Tro Reverse Grinch actually releases in both men's sizing and GS sizing or big kids as well. Like I mentioned, these don't actually release until this Friday, December 15th, but we actually got a shock drop and an exclusive access a few weeks before the official release this week. This is actually a pair from the exclusive access, the EA. Unfortunately, I was not able to get my size. This is a size eight. I was a little bit late. I wasn't even sure I was gonna get them. I definitely bought some Nike products and went for a bunch of Kobe products, but I was not sure if I was gonna actually get access in the one time I do, I'm a little bit too late. But like I said, I took an L on the shock drop. I got these, so hopefully I can use these as trade base so I can get my actual size. I would definitely say one of the most famous Kobe models is definitely the Kobe 6. So when we got hit with the Kobe 6 Grinch back in 2020, especially after everything that happened, people went crazy for him. It was a lot of price gouging and a lot of people coming out the woodworks that don't actually like Kobe products. But we got those back in 2010 originally. And then we got the green pair, you know, the Grinch pair. We got them back again in 2020. And now they hit us with the reverse Grinch, which is a beautiful shoe as well in 2023. Like I mentioned in the intro, we actually seen a couple players wearing this shoe on court. As a PE, we saw Anthony Davis. He tends to rock Kobe's all the time. Same with DeMar DeRozan and a lot of NBA players, especially after Kobe's passing. But we saw Anthony Davis rock these first and we weren't sure if we were ever going to see a general release for these. But we're actually supposed to see an abundance of pairs. It's Vanessa Bryant said this is actually the biggest Kobe release. I think she said three times bigger than any Kobe release ever. So this is definitely a general release and they're definitely doing it for the people. And I am happy for that. Now let's take a look at the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro Reverse Grinch. You know, you guys know Kobe 6s by now. We all love the Grinch 6s, one of the best Kobe's of all time, but these are definitely a beautiful shoe. As you can see, it kind of has that fading from lighter to the outside on that toe box. You have the snake skin throughout the upper of the shoe besides on the heel and the heel counter, probably just because of material so that you guys can hoop in these. But you see, we got the green laces that really make the Kobe signs pop out here and there and on the sole as well. You know, we have Mr. Kobe Bean Bryant's signature on the back. Such a beautiful shoe. They chose a great shade of red for these. I'm happy that we got these. Shout out to Anthony Davis for wearing these early. Now, if we take a look at the box, like I said, I got a size eight, did not get my size, unfortunately. But as you can see on the top of the box, it has that same snake print like the shoe. It even has a little bit of texture, it's debossed, got the Kobe signature right there, the Kobe sign, you know, just a classic, clean, all black Kobe box. Nothing crazy, but definitely a cool box. Like I said, I was not able to secure my pair. This is a size eight, two and a half size, it's too small, but based on what friends said that have these and watching different reviews, and I have some Kobe fives, and usually basketball sneakers, especially Kobe's, they run a little bit tight, especially until you break them in. So. I would say if you have a wider foot or you like your shoes to fit better from the jump, I would say go up a minimum of a half a size. But I would say that Kobe's, you know, as far as length and everything, I would say that these do fit true to size. It takes a little bit of time to break them in, but I would definitely say go true to size if you know how Kobe's fit. And if you're being a little bit careful, you have a wider foot or flat feet, I would definitely recommend going up at least a half a size. Now, as we take a look at GOAT for resale prices, we can see that the small men's sizes are just below 300. You know, once we start creeping up to size seven men's, they get to the low 300s and they creep up pretty quick around size 10 and a half, all the way up to 400. And they, they just kind of keep going up, up and up. The bigger sizes you get, the more peculiar sizes that aren't normal. 
as we take a look at stock x you can see this is actually a size 10 and a half and it is sitting at just above 400 dollars here's a full size chart it's pretty consistent but definitely some variations when vanessa bryant officially signed the contract again with nike for the new kobe brand she definitely wanted to get a lot more shoes out a lot more products she wanted to have an abundance of pairs so they weren't so exclusive and so hard to get your hands on and this is definitely one of the shoes that they're doing a lot of pairs on i heard crazy numbers 600,000 pairs but mock mock numbers are always you got to take them with a grain of salt you can believe them or not but it's definitely a lot of stores getting these even foot locker and you know the smaller retail stores are getting them you know stores like kith and everything are getting these shoes so they'll definitely be available you may have to put in some footwork and may have to enter a bunch of raffles but i would say they are definitely available and they did a great job actually pushing these kobe's out to make sure a lot of the public can actually grab a pair i know we got a couple of kobe's this year but i would say hands down this will be my favorite this is definitely number one maybe the ggs you know sixes just kind of hold a special place in the basketball realm in general they're a great shoe i know the fives have their run i think a couple sevens are pretty big but the sixes for at least kobe's definitely one of the biggest models for kobe brand i know it's a simple flip you know they just reversed it literally the reverse grinch i know they reversed the colors but they did a great job they picked a great shade of red you know the fading in the toe box and everything great hue great shade beautiful colorway like i said i hope i can grab my pair once they come out this friday on the 15th but it's a great shoe definitely worth the pick up i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video december has definitely been a great month in terms of growth and views for my channel so i want to thank you guys for that please make sure to keep tuning in liking and commenting and subscribing so we can help push these videos to the algorithm and until next time thank you guys